It's harder to explain now than it would have been 30 years ago. Because with the end of Soviet communism and the death of the Soviet empire, the world took this huge prolonged holiday from history. And we've lived as if we were in a sort of a Davos land fantasy for a generation and more, which means that people under the age of about 50 have a lack of power politics DNA in their system. It's, it seems unnatural. In fact, power politics is the ordinary uh, state of affairs when you have states. And what we're seeing in, uh, in the, in, in the Putin Kremlin's invasion of Ukraine is the, um, the end of our holiday from history, the return to uh, power politics in a pretty ugly way. Uh, but um, welcome back to the world as uh, previous generations uh, have known it and as future generations will likely know it as well. Um, There are still some people around who are old enough to remember the interwar period. And the reason it was called the interwar period is because it was punctuated on both sides by wars. Um, and it was also a time of terrible illusions. And the illusion in Europe, of course, in the interwar period was that it would be possible to appease an un unappeasable dictator. Um, and I'm not doing the uh, reducio ad Hitlerum thing, but appeasement can, appeasement can be a good policy. The, the Brits had a very successful policy of appeasing the United States, which was the basis of the special relationship, which worked pretty well for our two countries and for the rest of the world. Uh, but uh, Europeans and Americans uh, spent two decades appeasing uh, an unappeasable dictator in the Kremlin. And uh, we unfortunately inadvertently helped to create the monster who is there now. And he can talk about uh, how the special military operation in Ukraine is a defensive operation to uh, denazify a territory next to his. I mean, it's kind of an especially amusing concept for a government run by a man of Jewish heritage that he's going to have to denazify that territory. Um, and one can put it in terms of uh, great Russian nationalism, or one can talk about uh, redressing the great geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century, which Putin had described as the breakup of the Soviet Union. I mean, it, but uh, what, what we have uh, in front of us is just a prolonged failure of Western leadership and a refusal to face unpleasant facts about reality and to try to pretend our way out of them. Well, you can't pretend your way out of them, and this is only the latest wake-up call to that age-old fact.